Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting, keep suggesting, su suggesting stuff. You guys are the best. And just keep motivating me, keep motivating us to carry on with what we're doing uh we, app we appreciate all your support in every um form of liking sharing commenting everything we appreciate and uh, you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there um say hi we'll say hi back to you we don't mind being friends um don't you don't forget to suggest something anything for us to react to down below and yeah so today I'm going to be reacting to Carl Sagan on the existence of God. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. My question is, given all these demotions, what is your personal religion? Or do you, is there any type of God to you? Like, is there a purpose, given that we're just sitting on this speck in the middle of this sea of stars? No, I don't want to duck any questions. <laughs> and I'm not going to duck this one. Even though I have uh, high religious personages who are close friends of mine in this room. Um, but let me ask you, what do you mean when you use the word God? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess what my question, it, it's like, is there a purpose for... I mean, given all these demotions, why don't we just blow ourselves up? It's why don't like, we? Yeah, what, what, is, what is our purpose? I mean, Let in, me turn the question around. If we do blow ourselves up, does that disprove the existence of God? No, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a little late yeah. to make the discovery, but still. Yeah, I, I guess what, I, what I'm asking is since a, as, we, as we kind of make God almost go away in this as, as he, through these demotions, and I, I, I don't mean he, because who knows what God is, but um, but still saying it makes it right. sort of icky, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough. We um, like it to be a he, yeah, don't we? Yeah. We've been trained to think of it as a he. Um, it's, it seems that through the ages, we have, humans have created a mythological framework that has always involved some kind of, often involves some kind of higher spiritual powers. And as every human culture has done that. As that goes away, as we know more and more that, and it seems harder and harder to prove that anything might exist like that, where does that leave us? On our own. <laughs> <coughs> which to my mind is much more responsible than hoping mm -hmm. that someone will save us from ourselves so we don't have to make our best efforts to do it ourselves. Yeah. And if we're wrong, and there is someone who steps in and saves us, okay, that's all right. <laughs> I'm for that, but we, you know, hedged our bets. Mm -hmm. It's Pascal's bargain run backwards. Um, I'll, I'll say another word. The word God covers an enormous range of different ideas. And you recognize that in the yes. way you phrase the question. <laughs> Running from an outsized, light-skinned male with a long white beard sitting in a throne in the sky and tallying the fall of every sparrow, mm -hmm. for which there is no evidence. To my mind, if anybody has some, I sure would like to see it. Um, <clears throat> to uh, the kind of God that Einstein or Spinoza talked about, which is very close to the sum total of the laws of the universe. Now, it would be crazy to deny that there are laws in the universe, and if that's what you want to call God, then of course God exists. Mm -hmm. And there are all sorts of other nuances. There is, for example, the deist God that many of the founding fathers of this country believed in, although it is a secret whose name may not be spoken in some circles, a, uh, 
a roi fainéant, a do-nothing king, the god who creates the universe and then retires, and to whom <clears throat> praying to is sort of pointless. He's not here. He went somewhere else. He had other things to do. Now, that's also a god. So when you say, do you believe in God, if I, I say yes or if I say no, you have learned absolutely nothing. I guess I'm asking you to define yours if you have one. But why would we use a word so ambiguous that means so many different things? It gives you freedom to well, define it. As it you gives choose. you freedom to <clears throat> seem to agree with someone else with whom you do not agree. It covers over differences. It makes for social lubrication but it is not an aid to truth, in my view. And therefore, I think we need much sharper language when we ask these questions. Sorry to take so long in answering this, but this is an oh, no. important issue. What religion did this guy believe in to the person that actually suggested him? And a big shout out to you for um, putting us on to this guy. Um, of course, just the word itself, God is going to be ambiguous. But do you want to sit down and believe um, there is nothing in this world to believe in? Or do you want to be one of those people that, yes, God exists? I really, really appreciate the point you made about the term God. That one, yes, I'll take it. But the rest of it, um, I, I don't know. Because I personally believe there's a God out there, you know. So what do you think when you watch such a thing I'd love to um, know his religious background so when he talks about how ambiguous just the word God is uh, straight away I was thinking okay he's right he's right only because um, there's the holy God it doesn't matter what religion and there's the unholy God the religion that are just doing the most in this world doing too too much you know practicing all sorts of things that's what i'm thinking i don't want to mention anything but that's what i'm thinking and um are we really alone in this world because why do we think do, why do we see things turn around when we speak to god why do we feel that sense of calm when we come when we speak to god you can't tell me there's nothing out there that i'm speaking to you can't tell me there's nothing out there that i'm praying to you can't tell me there is nothing out there that keeps blessing me, saying that um, funny sees another day. So I, so I don't know. I really don't know. What are your thoughts on this video? The question itself was good. I always love people that ask questions. Even though I didn't think of the question, the fact that someone has thought of it and asked someone else, I always love to see how the answers come in. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Did you love this video? What are your thoughts on the existence of God? Uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.